Hi there. I think you'll agree with me that your home should be a place of comfort, right? But if you're always having to wear extra layers inside your home because it's cold and drafty, or maybe you're fighting over the thermostat setting because of high energy bills, that's not comfortable, is it? Even if you've had insulation blown in under your roof, you'll want to pay attention because you're going to find out the truth. That's right, the truth. Insulation alone is not enough to keep you comfortable through the seasons. And the insulation only myth has been taken for granted for far too long. Until now, we're going to shatter this myth by showing you there's a bigger, more important difference you can make to increase your comfort and help decrease your home energy bills. It gets down to this, air leaks. Come along and we'll get to the bottom of it all. No matter what kind of home you own, when it was built, its design, style, or even the materials it's built with, you may be shocked to learn how leaky your home is and how those air leaks end up compromising your comfort. To help us on our myth-busting journey, we've invited two bona fide experts, Mark Schoeneider and Adam White. Mark, Adam, tell us about yourselves. I have an engineering degree from Michigan State. And I have an engineering degree from the University of Wyoming, and I manage a team of energy efficiency engineers for Xcel Energy. As engineers, they know the science behind home heating and cooling issues. So tell us about this insulation myth. Let's use this sweater to illustrate. We all think of a sweater as warm, right? But add a little breeze, and it's not so comfy. The wind passes right through, and it feels cold. But if you add a windbreaker, a barrier, it helps keep the cold air out and the warm air in. So pretend I'm the house. This sweater represents the blown-in insulation. While the insulation is a good idea, it needs to be combined with actively sealing your house against air infiltration. Unfortunately, a lot of companies just do blow-and-go insulation. They just do the sweater, and that's not enough for optimum home comfort. They don't do anything that takes care of the leaks. It's really about thermodynamics, and it's pretty simple. Heat rises. Because heat rises, the warm air inside your home wants to escape up and out through whatever leaks it can find. Which means cold air is going to rush in and replace that escaping warm air. This can happen around your windows and doors, through your ceiling, the light fixtures, electrical outlets, really anywhere that you have leaks. Those drafts you feel in the winter, those are air leaks hard at work. Right, and your furnace has to work harder to keep you comfortable. And in the summer, it's the opposite. Your air conditioner will have to work hard to cool all that hot air that's leaking in. It's a vicious cycle. Finding and sealing air leaks in your home is like putting that shell over your sweater. In most homes, the most common places to find air leaks is the many places where your attic's unconditioned space meets your ceiling's conditioned space. Look at this ice dam. Ice dams can happen when warm air leaks from your warm house into the cold attic space above your ceiling, heating the roof just enough to melt the accumulated snow, which then becomes ice at night, making a dam that keeps water from draining away from your roof. It's a slow process, but can be damaging. And it's all because of air leaks. And all the little leaky places around your house can add up to the big equivalent of leaving a window wide open all year long. And you can feel that. So here's what you do. First, get a blower door test. This is an air measuring process that can determine exactly where your home is leaking and how badly. With a blower door test, all your doors and windows are shut. Then, a big fan is set up in one door frame to pull air through your home. We get a base pressure reading, and through a quick survey of the interior spaces, the air leaks from all around the house are identified, usually with a simple smoke stick. Once you find the leaks, you can seal them, using pretty standard tools and techniques. Once the air sealing work is completed, the blower door test is run again, and we can quantify the improvements. Xcel Energy used to offer an insulation-only rebate, but we learned from inspecting homes that the biggest energy savings weren't achieved by adding insulation alone. Right. First, you need to find the air leaks and seal them, with the blower door test leading the way. Create a good barrier between your conditioned air and the outdoor air, then add insulation in that order for real comfort as well as potential energy savings. We've seen customers reduce air leakage from 12 to over 50% with air sealing improvements. 
and that can add up to real energy savings every month. So, know the telltale signs, like gaps or open areas in your attic, or remodeled parts of your home, because the construction may not have included ample air sealing and insulation. And any drafty areas you notice around your home, those are just some of the signals. So get a blower door test and you'll see what's really going on. Thanks to both of you for completely busting the insulation only myth. We've all learned a lot, so now it's time to get started. Find a participating contractor here at xlenergy.com slash co trades.